Throughout the day, we've seen snow showers off to our north, but they are moving in as we go throughout this evening. Uh, so look for some slushy roads in some spots at the state line as of tonight. Here's satellite and radar and that does show uh, the snow showing up in blue. That's much of southern Wisconsin uh, throughout the afternoon, but we are getting that transition over and this is where we could see the heaviest of the snowfalls. The area is highlighted in purple here. Uh, this is where several inches of snow are expected. Uh, that's why winter adv weather advisories are out. Be ready for slushy roads as early as tonight and lasting through 6 o'clock tomorrow. Joe Davies and Stevenson counties are the ones that are under that advisory. Rest of the state line could see some lighter snow, still could get some slushy roads, but not looking at as nearly as much of snowfall as the spots highlighted in purple there. And you can see you're right into Joe Davies County as well as Stevenson County. We are looking at a pretty busy radar. You're getting that snow to creep on in and those bright yellows, oranges, and reds. I think that's sleet or some snowfall mixing in with the rain. So you'll be looking at some wintry precipitation throughout the rest of the evening. The rest of the state line expecting to get rain showers. So when we go over to future track, you can see that future track is a little aggressive with that rain snow mix, but basically it's free poured into the west where we're seeing that into this evening. That really shouldn't change much then uh, after 8 o'clock. We get to after midnight though, and as you can see, maybe a little rain sneaks in briefly around Freeport. Rest of the state line again seeing some rain. Occasionally a couple quick snowflakes, but mainly just rain showers. The remainder of the state line, though, does get into the action after sunrise tomorrow. You can see north of I-88, we're getting a rain-snow mix, if not straight snow showers. That continues into the afternoon. I think by the afternoon, those spots south of I-88 may be getting the snow. And then things dry out quickly going into Saturday afternoon. So here's the breakdown when it comes to snow accumulation. One to three inches possible north of I-88. As you get close to Freeport and going west, three plus inches of snowfall likely. And uh, also near Beloit, we're seeing about three inches or more for snow. So uh, even Roscoe and Rockton may be getting a little closer to that three inch mark. Uh, so be ready for some slushy roads at times. South of I-88 though, looking at mainly just rain showers. And again, a lot of this occurring tomorrow morning, early in the morning, right around 7 a.m., though if you're west of Freeport, you're seeing it already tonight. So it kind of varies by location, but most spots will get that snowfall by the morning hours. And be ready for conditions to change rapidly. One spot of road might look wet, and then you go a couple miles down the road, you're looking at slushy roads, so don't let that catch you off guard. Tonight, a little rain-snow mix uh, might occur, but the main round for heavier snowfall and slushy roads will be Saturday morning. Temperature-wise, we stay above freezing tonight, so that'll help keep the ice off the roads. Tomorrow, the temperatures drop throughout the day, so watch out for icy conditions at times into tomorrow night. After that, we stay cold. We're right near freezing through much of next week, but we do get some partly cloudy and dry weather. And in our most accurate 10-day forecast, Conditions remain dry until possibly Monday. Then we could be tracking more snow, James and Kristen. Looking forward to the snow overnight, Alex. Thanks.